Hi, I'm Mark. This is Mark's Tech Vlogs on YouTube. And today I'm gonna to bring you guys a review of the MTS 200 Smart Thermostat from Meros. Now this is a super affordable Wi-Fi smart thermostat from Meros, which is HomeKit compatible. And when I say super affordable, I mean it retails at around 50 pounds from a Meros website. This is over half the price of even something like the Tado, which is one of the more affordable smart thermostats out there. Now I've been using this for just over a week and for that money it actually packs in a lot and is certainly one to consider, especially given that it is HomeKit compatible. Now right at the start of this review, I wanna tell you guys that Meros have kindly sent this to me to review. However, as I say to any company that reaches out, I will always make an honest review. So whilst I haven't paid for this product, I also haven't been paid to make this video. And so if you've got any questions, do stick them below. And let's start off this review by talking about design. So really, this smart thermostat is designed to replace a wall-mounted existing thermostat. And as you can see from this design, this is shown by the fact that the wire connectors stick out from the back of the device. That being said, if you don't already have a wall-mounted one, you can just pick up a back box and use that, which is exactly what I've done. These back boxes retail for about £2 from places like Screwfix. The part of the device that you actually see protruding from that back box is fairly slim and white with rounded edges. The front of it has a white light-up LED display. The design itself looks really modern and nice and very, very similar to the Tado. The back of it where it protrudes is the area where you connect up all of the cables. And of course, these end up out of sight because they'll be attached to your wall or back box. In the box, you also get an optional external sensor which you can attach to the back of this device. This is designed to trail down your wall to your floor and enable you to get a more efficient reading because it's reading the temperature from two areas. Using this does mean having an extra cable trailing down your wall, which some people might not like. However, it is optional, so you really don't have to use it. All in all, this feels like a really well-made piece of kit, especially given the price range. So let's talk about setup and installation. So your setup and installation process is gonna vary depending on what you already have in your house. And like I said, really it's designed to replace an existing wall thermostat. And if so, the setup process is pretty simple. However, even if that isn't your existing setup, it can be pretty simple to install. So I've actually been using this instead of my Tado for the last week or so. What this means is I took the wires out of the Tado receiver and added them into this instead. Now the Maros app does talk you through the installation process. And the two most important things to do at the start are to take pictures of your existing wiring and also to label your cables. Now Maros includes some labels in the pack, which is great. And essentially what you do once power is disconnected to your existing thermostat is you remove the cables from the back of it and plug them into the corresponding ports on the new Meros one. You also set up that external sensor if you do want to use that wall sensor. If you have underfloor heating, you may also need to use the included bridge cable as well, but this is talked through in the Meros app. It is worth saying at this stage that this is designed for combi boilers and not boilers with water tanks. And then the final couple of stages are really about just securing it in place. And so you're gonna to want to screw the Meros plate onto the back box on your wall. Now what I did find is the included screws for the back box are thicker than your average UK ones. That means you're gonna to want to use the existing ones that you previously removed. And then the final thing you do is you clip the front back onto that Meros plate and display all lights up. Now all in all, I'd say the installation process was pretty simple. However, this is gonna vary depending on your setup and also how confident you are with doing things like this. This means you may want to look at getting a professional installer in, although of course this will add cost to it. Having done it myself, I think though you're only looking at about an hour from a professional. And with this sort of thing, any kind of heating engineer will be able to do it. Once you've got everything attached to the wall and the power is back on, the Meros app will talk you through pairing it. As part of this process of adding it into the Meros app, it will also automatically add it into your Apple Home app and connect it up to your home Wi-Fi. This process is pretty seamless and also involves doing things like giving it a name and assigning it to a room. So let's move on and talk about specification. So as I said, this connects to your home via Wi-Fi. This of course gives you out of home access. When it comes to connecting with third parties, it is HomeKit compatible as I mentioned, and also Amazon and Google Voice Assistant compatible, plus it works with smart things. You can adjust the temperature by 0.5 degrees Celsius intervals, and it also has a massive range of five to 35 degrees, although I'm not sure who wants to heat the house to 35 degrees. It has a built-in window detection sensor. The schedules on this can also be set 24 seven. And then, as I said earlier, it is compatible with hot water boiler systems that are combi boilers. And really, this moves us on to talk about the app because most of the functionality and the features come from within the app. So when you open the Meros app, it shows you all of your devices in one place. 
And as part of this, it shows you their current status. For the smart thermostat, this includes the temperature of your room and what it's currently doing. So whether it's heating your room to something. To get more options, you simply click onto it and this takes you through onto a second screen. From here, you can easily set the temperature with some plus and minus buttons and also select the mode. And when it comes to mode, there's two options as well as an on off. There's a manual mode and an auto mode. Manual mode gives you three options for setting the temperature quite easily from the app. These are heat, cool, and economy. Now these values can be adjusted, which is good because for some reason out of the box, Meros think you might want to heat your house to 25 degrees. When in auto mode, it relies on the schedules that you've set. To access these schedules, you can tap the menu button in the top right of the app. This takes you to more settings where you can adjust a whole variety of things. This includes being able to turn on parental controls for disabling the actual physical touch device and also adjusting the brightness of this device. The most important feature here is probably the schedule settings. And in my opinion, this screen is probably the weakest part of the app and it does take a bit of getting used to. To adjust your schedule, you can drag the times along the bottom and then you can click on the different temperatures and drag them up or down to set them. Little arrows then also appear for more precise adjustments. And you can adjust these at 0.5 degree intervals. There's also the option key in order to copy a day onto multiple days. This allows you to easily have the same schedules for weekdays and weekends without having to manually do everything. I do think this interface is a little bit clunky and I actually think companies like Tadu have probably got this better with more of a kind of press and select function rather than visual dragging and dropping. This is probably especially true for older users or people with mobility issues trying to drag around those dots on the screen. Some of the other settings include a whole variety of things. One of those things is the ability to calibrate the temperature, which is kind of about offsetting the temperature that the thermostat thinks it is. This is useful if your thermostat is in a warm place and not reflective of the rest of the room. One thing that is noticeable compared to other products from other companies is any kind of geolocation functionality. Now this is something you could achieve via the Apple Home app, however, if you're an Apple user. And this is because Apple supports automations based on when the last person leaves or the first person gets home. To do this, you'd simply go into the Apple Home app and create an automation that turns off the heating when you leave the house and turns it back on when you get home. One thing to note is that if you don't want this to be overwritten by the schedules in the Meros app, then what you're gonna to want to do is go into the Meros app and switch to manual mode. From there, you're gonna to want to set your schedules using the Apple Home app instead. This will allow you to do something like, at four o'clock, set your room to 30 degrees if someone is at home. Now, setting schedules like this in the Apple Home app is a little bit time consuming because there's not a kind of heating schedule thing as a whole. You just have to set a lot of different automations. I'm mostly sharing this because it is possible to set a geolocation feature with this. It does just take a bit more effort to start with. The other option, of course, is just to hope you remember to turn it off when you leave the house because that will save you money. And because you do have out of home access, you can do this from the Meros app wherever you are. This is especially useful if you're going on holiday. It is also worth saying, however, that some kind of geolocation feature could be added by a software in the future. Now, I don't know if this is something Meros is planning to do. However, it is worth noting that because you don't need anything extra on the device itself. It's all done in software. And then the final thing to mention is you can also buy Meros smart thermostatic radiator valves. This will allow you to have more control of the individual temperatures in different rooms around your house. Now these cost around kind of 30 to 35 pounds, although initially you're gonna to need to get the 60 pound kit that includes the Meros hub. One hub, however, can work with up to 16 Meros devices. These will then allow you to set individual schedules for different rooms. It is worth noting, however, that these individual thermostatic radiator valves, as I say in my review for them, which is coming up in the future, actually can't trigger the heating to come on or off. They can just control the temperature of the room when your Meros smart thermostat has got the heating on. And then of course for this review, you can also control the temperature via the actual device itself. Touching a screen to wake it shows you a whole variety of bits of information. This includes showing you the current temperature, the working mode, the Wi-Fi status, there's a power button as well, and it lets you switch between modes. You can also use those arrows up or down to set the temperature that you want to achieve. This screen is really responsive and works well. And of course there is the option in the app to disable those controls for parental controls. So all in all, what is the verdict on this smart thermostat from Meros? Coming in at one of the most affordable smart thermostats out there and the most affordable HomeKit compatible smart thermostat, this packs in a lot for the money. And as a whole, it is an excellent product accompanied by an app that is generally really nice to use and well thought out. There are, however, a couple of things that are downsides worth noting. Firstly, as I said, that schedule screen is a bit awkward to use and get used to. And whilst you're probably only gonna use it a few times, it's worth noting about. Secondly, the lack of geofencing is also a real shame for true automation. Especially as switching off the heating when you're not at home can save you a lot of money. 
All of that being said, for a device that is over half the price of the cheapest one out there that's any good, this is actually a really good product for money. And the ability to theoretically set up geofencing through the Apple app, although a little bit clunkier, is something you still could achieve for something at this price point. One other thing I'd love to see Meros explore in the future is the option for a wireless version of this. This would be similar to the Tado where you've got a receiver that connects to your boiler and the wireless kind of thermostat that sits somewhere else in the house. All of that being said, if you're looking for an affordable, reliable, HomeKit compatible smart thermostat, then this one from Meros is excellent. It packs in a lot of features and also allows you to easily upgrade to a kind of whole home solution thanks to their smart thermostatic radiator valves. This can help you save even more money by only heating the rooms you want to heat. If you want to pick one of these up, I have put a link below. That is an affiliate link to the Meros website where the prices are typically cheaper than places like Amazon. If you do use that link, thank you very much because that helps this channel out and helps me keep making videos for you guys because this isn't my full-time job and I don't get paid for these videos. If you've got any questions, do stick them below and I will answer those questions for you. If you do want to see my review of the smart thermostatic radiator valves and also a comparison video between the Tado and Meros systems, then make sure you subscribe because I've got those videos coming up over the next few weeks. I will see you guys again soon.